Good day, good people. My name is Kabo Sekwele and I am an online math tutor here to help young children turn their struggles into their successes. Today we will be talking about dyscalculia. Dyscalculia is a learning disability that affects many people, both young and old. But this video will be directed to parents who have a child that has dyscalculia. We will be talking about what are some of the things you can do to help your child improve in math despite having this learning disability. First and foremost, the best way to help a child who has dyscalculia is to hire a tutor that is certified to help children with this learning disability. They know what the issues are and they know how to solve those issues. And what's worse, dyscalculia is different for each and every person. So they will know how to best tailor a lesson for each individual student's needs. But if hiring a tutor is not an option for you, maybe they're too expensive or you don't know any, I will be sharing a few practical tips that you can use to help your child. For you as a parent to know how to help your child, you need to know what the problem is. So very briefly, I'm going to explain what dyscalculia does to the mind of someone who has it. Then you will better understand why the strategies that I'll be sharing with you are effective for someone with this learning disability. Simply put, dyscalculia is a math learning disorder that makes it hard for people, both young and old, to understand numbers and topics related to numbers. Why? Because their minds are unable to figuratively see numbers or their concepts. So your aim should be to help your child see numbers and to see mathematics. Unlike the average person, their minds cannot do that for them, which is why they struggle. So you're gonna have to try your best to fill that gap. So now there are many ways that you can do this. It's just going to require a lot of patience and preparation from your end. But if you are willing to work with them, you can start seeing results. So the first thing that you need to do is to limit your use of the traditional methods used for teaching. Get rid of this idea that the only way to teach math properly is by explaining math theoretically. And get rid of the idea that worksheets and textbooks are the best way of teaching children mathematics because that approach will not work for your child. Your child will not be able to translate the theory and those words into pictures that help them make sense of mathematics in their minds. Therefore, they won't understand anything that you're trying to teach them. As I've mentioned before, you are the one that needs to translate math principles and concepts into pictures that can help them make sense of math. So instead of using the traditional method of teaching mathematics, you will have to employ a more practical approach in your teaching. For example, it would be best to teach your child using games, objects, and activities, because then you are practically showing them how math works and they can keep those mental images in their minds to help them make sense of the concept that you're trying to teach them. Teaching using this approach is actually effective for all sorts of students, but it is necessary for children with dyscalculia. So now just to show you how you can use games and activities to help children with this learning disability, I'm going to discuss one common issue that many children with dyscalculia struggle with, and then we'll discuss what type of games can help them overcome this issue. One very common issue that children with dyscalculia have is not being able to solve any kind of math problem without counting in ones. But why do they have this problem? because they struggle to notice patterns. For example, if you ask the average child to give you the answer to 10 plus 10, they should be able to answer 20 without even counting, let alone in ones, because they've noticed a pattern. Therefore, they don't need to count in ones to find the answer. But most children with dyscalculia will count in ones, instead of noticing the pattern that comes from adding tens. So a skill like this is very important because numerical patterns play a very large part in efficiency when it comes to adding and subtracting. Patterns make adding and subtracting more efficient and less time consuming. So to improve the counting skills of a child with dyscalculia, give them games that involve playing with dominoes or a dice. Why? Playing games using dominoes or a die helps children count in chunks as opposed to counting in ones. Dominoes and die have dot patterns that children can memorize. After constant use of the die or a domino, your child will remember what the different dot patterns add up to. For example, if you roll a die and one lands on five while the other lands on four, most people know that the answer is nine simply based on memory. Therefore, there's no need to count all of the dots to find the answer, thus minimizing the constant counting in ones. See, working with math using a child's senses is called multi-sensory math, and it is brilliant for helping children with dyscalculia improve their math common sense. It can also help them improve their application of mathematics to the real world. Again, multi-sensory math works for any child, but it is absolutely necessary for a child who has this learning disability. It's just great because it makes math less abstract. It just makes math more real and it just helps them see the concept. 
as opposed to just hearing the theory. So parents, in summary, to help any child understand mathematics, you need to help them understand math concepts. But the difference between the average child and a child with dyscalculia is that they struggle to translate math concepts and principles into mental pictures that help them understand mathematics. So you need to help them make that translation. How can you do that? By teaching using games, activities, objects, anything that makes math practical. Don't try and use the traditional way of teaching mathematics. It will not work for a child with this learning disability. Just teach math that uses their senses. Parents, thank you very much for watching this video. If you want a more in-depth explanation of how you can know whether your child has dyscalculia, feel free to check out the video that I will link right up here. And if you are in search of a math tutor that can help your child improve their grade, please feel free to go down to my website and schedule a consultation with me there. I will leave the link down in the description. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.